Hello everyone and welcome to Sharp Dress Gaming and today we are back with a team builder for Pokemon VGC 2016. Now this week is going to be a little more, um, uh, out of whack. I don't even know the word. It's not going to be as streamlined as some of the other ones were just because I don't really have an a idea for this week other than one Pokemon that I know I want to use. Now, as you can see, the Pokemon's on the screen already. It is Electivire. Electivire kind of has a uh, history with our channel. Because for those of you who don't know, we are in uh, uh, GBA draft format leagues. We're in two of them right now. The Delta Battle League and the Pro uh, Pokemon Global League. And actually, in the Delta Battle League, we made it to playoffs. So this is kind of to celebrate making it to playoffs in the Delta Battle League. And uh, so we're going to be using Electivire. Now, when I thought about it, I'm like, Electivire could destroy Primal Kyogre because Primal Kyogre is, in fact, more especially defensive than it is defensive. So Wild Charge could destroy it. If Wild Charge from a Thunderous Incarnate can destroy it, I'm sure Electivire could take care of it. So I went to Calc it up, and I'm, I'm actually going to pull up the Calc here. I actually have my Rayquaza in the way. I'm going to bring a Kyogre, and I am still using uh, Pokemon Showdown's Damage Calculator because Nugget Bridge has not updated yet, and it's rather annoying. But I'm going to bring up just a normal Kyogre, and as you can see, base speed for a Kyogre is 90, base speed for Electivire is 95. So that means Electivire does outspeed Primal Kyogre. Um, we do have to be Jolly. For it to outspeed, you can't be adamant, which is rather annoying. But uh, we, I went max attack, life orb, and that does 104.1 to 123.9 percent to a Kyogre that's un, uninvested in defense. I'm actually going to go 225 here. So it does go down to 99 uh, when you are not at max attack. So that's not great, but. It's better than nothing. So 99 to 117.8% to a Primal Kyogre with max HP, no defense investment. If people start going defensive on their Kyogres, then you'll have a problem at that point. But as of right now, I'm thinking Electivire is going to be pretty great. So, oh, uh, the Electivire I built here, I actually have them in showdown right now. I decided to go Protect, Earthquake, Fire Punch, and Wild Charge. Now, Earthquake, I decided to use for Primal Groudon, because if you can outspeed Primal Kyogre, you can outspeed Primal Groudon. They have the same speed. Um, Earthquake, unfortunately, does about 60 to 70%, I think, at max on Primal Groudon. So you can't one-shot a Primal Groudon, but you can get a lot of damage off, which is fine by me. I also had Ice Punch on here originally uh, for Mega Rayquazas, but... Obviously, Mega Rayquaza outspeeds Electivire, and even though Electivire resists Dragon's Ascent, it still knocks it out in one hit. So, <laughs> there you go on defenses for your uh, Electivire. So, I just, and with Ice Punch, it's only doing about 70% with the Delta Stream up. So, I decided to go Fire Punch for Ferrothorns because I always have such a problem with said Ferrothorns. So, I decided to go Fire Punch so we have something that. Uh, reliably knock it out. We do have to worry about the old uh, the old Kyogres, but uh, as I'm talking, I think I decided what Pokemon I want to bring along with this Electivire. So, what we're gonna do here is go back over here. Just You can just look at all the stats for all the Electivires that are on special right now. I haven't seen one yet, but apparently they're on here. They've been paired up with Lysernia, Salamence, Crobat, Groudon, Kyogre, Gengar, Evolta, Lipark, Cresselia, and Dialga. 100% uh, of them are running Wild Charge, also running Protect, Low Kick, Ice Punch, Fire Punch, Faint, Hidden Power, Cross Chop, and Earthquake. Uh, abilities, Vital Spirit. I was going to go Motor Drive, and then I saw Vital Spirit, and I'm like, yes! Vital Spirit. For those of you who don't know, Vital Spirit uh, makes it so that Pokemon can't fall asleep. So things like Smeargle trying to use Dark Void on you, or there have been gravity hypnosis teams, you can't fall asleep. So Electivire can just keep punching things and hopefully knocking a bunch of things out. Motor Drive is cool, but you don't really see a lot of electric types. There's a few Thunders around. Raichu's kind of got a following right now. So you could, I guess, use that with Raichu, but I mean, I, I, I don't much care for it. I think Vital Spirit's going to be so much better. Nature's. Jolly and Naive. That's all you're seeing. Naive is making it so you can also be a special attacker. Bleh. I don't I don't care. Uh, held item, Life Orb, 
White Herb, and Choice Band. Now that I just said that again, the Pokemon I want to pair it with might be good with Naive. Um, I'm going to actually bring this up here. Let's go Primal Groudon. I'm just going to go Rock Polish Set. Um, let's go Zero, Special Defense, Max HP. I know some a lot of people are running Special Defensive Groudon to take on other Special Defensive Groudon, but now Groudon's just starting to shift back towards physical from what I'm seeing. Uh, max speed physical Groudon's is typically what I've been seeing here. But we're going to get rid of Earthquake for... Wait on it. Wait on it. Shouts out to Professor Willow for this one. Hidden Power Water. Now, obviously, Hidden Power... Oh, not obviously. This, uh, this has been something that's been a little bit confusing. Hidden Power Water does not work when the Harsh Sun sign is out. Because it's considered a Water-type move, it evaporates. I've tested it. does not work. So, what if... We paired Electivire with Rayquaza slash Mega Rayquaza to airlock in Power Water doesn't do anything. Um, oh, we're still jolly. Let's go naive. Still doesn't do anything. Okay, I don't think it's worth it. <laughs> um, as much as cool as that sounds, I don't think it's worth it. But how much did I have in defense? 40? We could redirect that 40 to its special attack, which still doesn't matter. Alright, we're sticking with Earthquake for right now. We are sticking with Earthquake, Jolly, Electivire. I think it's too much work to do that way. Because we're doing about the same damage either way. So it, we're sticking with Earthquake, Fire Punch, Wild Charge, at, for the time being. And we're also bringing Rayquaza. up. Shoo. If you couldn't tell by the way I was talking. And that gets rid of our ground weakness. With Electivire, I mean, we're obviously going to have all Rayquazas, because Electivire does not resist any of those, but we can deal with that later. So like I said, we're going Rayquay. Young Ray, the Young Quay. So we're going to bring the Rayquaza. Young Ray. Um, item, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Rayquazas typically run Life Orb or Focus Sash at this point, but we'll see where we go from here. Gonna have airlock until mega evolves. Obviously, we're gonna have dragon ascent. That's the only uh, uh, stipulation you need to have mega rayquaza. It needs no dragon ascent, or it can't mega evolve. Just so you guys are aware of that. Um, I think I want to go special rayquay. Special rayquay, just because. Um, actually, can I bring up rayquazas? Can I? Can I actually look at rayquaza? Hello. Um, there he is. So, Dragon Ascent, Dragon Ascent, Extreme Speed, Protect, Waterfall, Overheat, Draco, Meteor, Earthquake, Dragon Claw, Sword Stance, and Earth Power. I kind of want to bring Draco Meteor, Rayquai. Rayquai. I could also go Waterfall. I don't know, there's, there's so many different variations of Rayquaza right now. Mega Rayquaza. Or doubles. Let's see what they have in here. Dragon Sun, Extreme Speed, Protect, and No Move. Why? Why do you have No Move? Um, I want to see if I can take out Groudon's with Earth Power. That's my biggest thing. Earth Power gr against Groudon. That's uninvested. Can we get it to a point where it knocks out? No, we can't. So that's kind of stupid. That's kind of stupid, and I hate it. Waterfall. We can. We have a chance to knock out. Um. We could also bring Kyogre because a very popular t uh, core right now is Rayquaza Kyogre. But I don't know. But I don't know, Ming. Yeah, I think I want to go special. I mean, physical. With Protect, Extreme Speed, Dragon Scent, not Waterfall, though. Draco Meteor, probably. Let's bring up another Rayquaza here. For Oris Doubles, put Draco Meteor on here. Um, not Jolly. Oh, we didn't have him as Naive. That might have been able to knock out at that point, then. But Draco Meteor absolutely destroys other Mega Rayquazas at this point. So let's go back to Groudon. 
Put the rock polish set, no investment there, max investment here. Earth power. Still does not go, okay. Okay, back to what I originally had here. Does Dragon Pulse knock out other Rayquazas? It does. Huh. Interesting. I like this theory. Let's further investigate it. Palkia. Why are people in Draco Meteor when Dragon Pulse kills things? I mean, obviously, Draco Meteor has that power when you're going up against other random Pokemon. But... Yeah, I'm gonna go Dragon Pulse. Call me crazy. Paint me blue. Call me Sally. But don't call me late to dinner. I'm going Dragon Pulse. Um, also saves me some time for making my Rayquaza like me. You know what I'm saying. Protect and Extreme Speed. Um, and I'm just gonna... And that was zero? Oh, we're also looking at a level 50 King's Gun against a level 100 Rayquaza. Dragon Ascent. There's a chance not going to max. So back to Palkia. Bring Palkia down to 50. Yeah, we don't need to invest to knock out things. Oh, Salamence. Salamence is the other dragon we have to look at here. Mega Salamence at 50. Dragon Pulse is knocking all of these out. I don't know why. I just don't understand it, I guess. I guess I'm dumb and don't know what's going on in the world. Um, I'm gonna drop the four there, I think. No, wait. Let's drop the four up here so we're at a uneven amount. Let's go negative in the special defense, because typically you're gonna be knocked out if we're gonna hit specially defensively anyway. And naive. <clears throat> Now, our item could be Focus Sash. It very well could be. I could also go Yachi Berry. I'm gonna try Yachi Berry Rayquaza. I like that. I like that a lot. Alright, so that is our other Pokemon, Mega Rayquaza. So we do still have one restricted spot. We can bring in another Mega if we want to. I typically don't, but. I mean, it's New Year, New Me. We could bring a um, another Mega, Dual Mega. Now we have a weakness to Ice, to Dragon, to Fairy, and Rock. Groudon would get rid of Fairy, but Kyogre would get rid of Ice. We also don't have to go with a Primal. We do have a Pokemon that deals with Weather currently. But we need something that deals with Groudon. That's the biggest thing right now. And Kyogre kind of fills that spot. I, off the top of my head, I don't. Well, let's look at Groudon. Um, off the top of my head, I don't know another Pokemon that really deals with them. I mean, yeah, right here, Primal Groudon, Primal Kyogre, Xerneas. Surprisingly, I mean, my Xerneas destroys Groudons from him within power. Let me go back to Groudon. Um, Kangaskhan's. Rayquaza, Salamence, Evaltel, Landorus, Talonflame, and Palkia. That could go Palkia. That gives us a huge weakness to Xerneas, though, and then we have to deal with Xerneas. But Groudon covers Xerneas. Groudon covers Groudon. But not Kyogre, but we have something for Kyogre. And I could also get rid of Fire Punch on my Electivire for Ice Punch. I mean, Fire Punch, I think, would be better. At that point. But I, I could get rid of Earthquake for Ice Punch. Or something else. I don't know. I don't know, Ming. We could go faint on the Electivire. Ooh, boy. You thought. You would have thought. Let's do that. I'm starting to get tired, so now I'm starting to get crazy. Let's go Groudon. Primal Groudon. Um, I mean, it keeps all of our weaknesses, except for the Fairy, but it doesn't add to them. So, that's the, that's, that's, that's what's my favorite thing about this. Um, we're gonna have to go Special Groudon. Just because I don't want to have another Physical Attacker. Like, I want to use Physical Groudon, 
because I haven't really gotten to use it, and I think Prespa's Blades looks really cool. Yeah, it looks cool. That's why we should use it. But um, but no, uh, we need to go special because we have such a huge um, uh, physical presence right now that I'd rather go special. Flamethrower. Let's go with our uh 252 our patented 252 100 156 spread with a modest nature actually i kind of want to go quiet is that dumb of me for right now let's go modest let's let's wait until we have our actually i should go fast i should not worry about trick room Hmm. Yeah, let's just leave this. Let's just go like this. And then just assume our Groudon's going to underspeed things. So Tailwind slash maybe Trick Room with Electivire and Rayquaza. I don't want to go Trick Room, but you know, you know, you know, you know. Anyway. Any which way. So now we got our three main physical presences. I mean, uh, offensive presences. So we need some defensive ones. We need some supportive ones. I wouldn't mind another physical one, but I think I th our uh, offensive one. But I think we're pretty good on that. Now, like I mentioned before, Tailwind. Um, because I have Rayquaza instantly, my mind thinks Togekiss. Togekiss could be really good. Togekiss could be really good. It has both redirection and uh, speed coverage. So I might do that. Sorry for that slurp. That was very rude. Very rude of me. Let's go with Togekiss. It is going to add to our rock weakness, but uh, Rayquaza's got its thing going on, so it doesn't have to worry about that much. And Ice. It's got its Delta Stream going on. That's what I should have said. Um, I am going to actually look at a different Togekiss. Um, we have the... We could go Togetic if we wanted to be... Actually, we should go Togetic. Togi, 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 Togi. Oh, no. Wait, let's go Togetic. Here's the, here's the Togekiss I was going to go off of. But I kind of want to use Togetic. Just because. Why not, huh? I was going to see if I have another Togekiss laying around here somewhere. I thought I've used Togekiss before this season. I might have... Oh, here it is. It's in the Giratina Origin. There's my Togetic there. I think that's the same as the one I just looked at. But let's... I mean, Togekiss. Let's go with Togetic. Togi, Togi. Uh, this is from a, uh, a premiere challenge somebody... Uh, Jamie Boyd. This is Jamie Boyd's Togetic. So let's go into here, delete that, add a Pokemon import, PST, save. Now, I personally don't like Super Luck. Super Luck is for crits while they're using Dazzling Gleam. I kind of want to go Air Slash instead. I mean, we do have Dragon Ascent already, so maybe Air Slash isn't the best idea. Let's go Dazzling Gleam. Let's leave it. Let's leave it. So, for those of you who don't know how this Togetic works, so it has Follow Me, it has Dazzling Gleam. I mean, uh, Tailwind's what I meant to say, Dazzling Gleam, we've already went over. But it has After You. Now, what that uh, entails is if um, if the Togetic goes first, it's able to uh, allow whatever Pokemon it uses After You on to attack immediately afterward. So, if our opponent is going to use Trick Room, we can use After You with Togetic and let say Mega Rayquaza go next and then they aren't expecting it destroys them cool that's the plan so let's go female let's name it Lil Chasti Chastity since Chastity's our Togetic it's also our Ferrothorn <laughs> Ferrothorn and Togekiss say, share the same name apparently but that's what we're gonna go with there cause Tog Togetic is a little bulkier what am I trying to go to here is uh, Togetic is a little bulkier than Togekiss because of Eviolite. So I, I want to try out Togetic. Uh, I've been interested 
to see what it does. And now we're about to find out. So currently, currently we have a water weakness, a rock weakness, and an ice weakness. Now steel covers most of those. It covers the rock and ice. Not the water. But Groudon covers the water. And Rayquaza technically covers the ice and the rock as well. So. Hmm. I wouldn't mind having a Taunter. We could go Liopard in that slot. Have we used Liopard lately? I know we used it on the um, Giratina team. Oh, these are none of the teams I've used recently. These are all other people's teams. Miensho. Does Miensho get Taunt? Um... Mian Show would actually cover a rock weakness. Mian Show. It's gonna add to our fairy though. Um, I kind of want to see what Mian Show does. So let's look at Mian Show. <laughs> Mian Show. Do you get taunt? I think you do. You do get taunt. One other Pokemon I wanted to check. It's another fairy type. Clef, and it's also another supportive fairy. It's. I kind of want to go Mianshao. Is that bad of me? Is that a dumb idea? It does give up fake out support too. I want to go with Mianshao. I don't think I have a nickname for Mianshao. Um. Doesn't matter. That's not part of the team builder, we'll, we'll come up with that later. But we're going to go Focus Sash Mianxiao. With Inner Focus, it's also going to Fake Out Taunt. Does it get Quick Guard? It does get Quick Guard. Quick Guard. And... High Jump Kick. For those pesky Kangas. Let's just do that. So now we have a Mian Shao. So, currently we have a Fairy, Ice, Psychic, and Water. Yes. So that Steel type, we're still looking for that Steel type. Also Rock. Um, let's look at some Steel types, shall we? Can I just click on Steel and it'll take me to Steel types, or is it going to take me to Type Chart? No, it takes me to attack chart. What the heck? What the heck? Let's go steel type Pikmin. That's gonna bring us to a search page. Which bring us here. I don't like show on the search page, but what can you do when they come for you? We could go Mega Mawile, have our double Mega or Mega Metagross, um, and have our double Mega. Double Mega or Aegetic Slash? Aegis Slash? Hmm, Bronzong, Dialga, we can't use unfortunately. I love me some Dialga, but we have all of our restricted Pokemon picked out already. We could have Scizor. Scizor. Ferrothorn. As much as I always use Ferrothorn, it does cover Rock, Water, Psychic. And fairy does not cover ice because it's neutral to ice. But I'm also not concerned about that. I'm also not super concerned about using a feral thorn. Because that gives us another Groudon weakness. I mean a steel type in general will give us another Groudon weakness. But what if I want heat proof Rongzong? And that also just gives us trick room. I mean it's it's like blah, you know? I'm just at a I'm just at a loss. What's our fire weakness looking like right now? We have two resists and no weakness. So I'm actually not super upset if we bring a steel type in here. It's just our ground. I mean we do have two ground immunities. We do also have two ground weaknesses currently. So bringing in a steel type would give us a ground weakness again. I wouldn't mind having a steel type for um Cernius. And Ferrothorn does that job the best. Scizor. We could use Scizor. 
because that doesn't give us a ground weakness. It does give us the double fire weakness, but we have two fire resist. Scissor. I'm really like a scissor. And this team is starting to look a lot like, um, uh, where is it? This team. So as you can see, it's got Rayquaza, Scissor, and Togetic, and instead of Raichu, we have Electivire. I mean, which isn't terrible. I mean, obviously this team is built better, or his team is built better because uh, it won it won a tournament, but I kind of like this. What was I going to add? <laughs> Oh god, I'm still scatterbrained right now. Steel type. Scissor. I was gonna add scissor. Could I add Empoleon? Why would I add Empoleon though? I don't know. I don't even know anymore. I don't know what's going on with my brain. Where is my mind? I mean, that being said, Empoleon and Groudon together. Can Empoleon get Iron Head? Why? Why am I thinking about Empoleon? All right, let's pull up Empoleon over here. Sorry if he's flipping through these screens is a little much for you guys, but I need to do something about my life. Okay, Empoleon. Base attack of 86. Special attack is obviously much higher. Gets Metal Claw. Hydro Pump. Drill Peck. Blizzard. Iron Head is a move to move, right? doesn't get Iron Head. So, I mean, Flash Cannon. Uh, let's bring it up in the damage calcs. Empoleon. I don't know why I'm even considering Empoleon right now. Xerneas. Let's just go all out attacker. Flash Cannon does about 80% modest magic special attack. Impolo. Like, I like the idea of bringing in Rayquaza and then attacking with Empoleon. You know? You know what I'm saying? Empoleon also gets Grass Knot, doesn't it? Grass Knot. Um, I just brought it up without even looking. Empoleon. It does get Grass Knot. How much would a Grass Knot do to a Kyogre? Oops. Not that kind of Kyogre. Primal Kyogre, please. Primal Kyogre, please. Um, Grass Knot does about half. And, I mean, Origin Pulse does damage. It does a nice amount of damage in that matter. For that matter, and how much would Ice Beam do to a Rayquaza? Why am I entertaining this? Ice Beam does about 70%, or Dragon Ascent doesn't even do a lot. I kind of want to bring him bully on. Why do I want to do this to myself? And the viewers at large. There's gotta be a better choice than that. What are we weak to? <laughs> um, fairy, ice, psychic, water, and rock. God, Empoleon just takes care of all of those. It literally does. Um, it will give us a rock weakness, I think. I mean, ground. Doesn't get rid of the ice. It doesn't give us a ground weakness either. How does it not get rid of the ice weakness? It four times resists. I guess we have a four time resist and a two time resist, but then it's like, you know, Delta Stream. Empoleon, huh? Why doesn't it get Iron Head? I am. Entertaining this way too far. Um, I am ent entertaining this too far, too far. Can I get Defiant? I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Not that it matters, I guess. Um. Um, Kyogre. Grass Knot just, just doesn't do anything. It just doesn't do anything. 
Um. 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 Hmm. I mean, we're already this far. <laughs> um. Ice beam, hydro pump, knock off, protect, rest, return, roar, rock slide. Shadow claw, signal beam, stealth, swords, water. Um, hydro, metal, metal claw. Water pulse. I'm just like so dumbfounded that I'm thinking about using Empoleon. What if we don't use Hydro Pump? What if we use Scald? Scald KOs. What if we put this back at Chuckaberry? Um. Precipice Blades in doubles doesn't knock out. That's interesting. Okay, Empoleon, I'll give you a chance. I'm gonna go 252 and Modest. We don't need Defiant. No physical attacks, so I'm gonna go Protect. Um, do I just go max speed, Empoleon? Empoleon, it's only got 60 speed. I kind of want to go max HP. Because it's made to take some hits, you know? You know what I'm saying? And then four in defense. This looks really dumb, but I'm going to do it. So this is actually our team. As much as I hate to say it. This is going to be our team. So we have the Electivire, the Rayquaza, the Groudon, the Togetic, the Mian Chao, and the Empoleon. Oh, okay. <laughs> so guys, uh, let me know what you think about this team. I'm just like, Empoleon? Like, because, so, because of the primals, um, water types and fire types have become very irrelevant unless they're Groudon or Kyogre. So it's, it's just like dumbfounding me, like my brain can't handle it. And is this what I want to keep with Electivire? Earthquake, Fire Punch, or Wild Charge. I don't really want to Earthquake. I mean, we could. We could. As of right now, this is what it's going to look like. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about this team, if you think it's going to go anywhere. Uh, hit that like if you enjoyed this uh, video, and be sure to be checking out your Minnesota Wild Charge. That's the whole point of this video. Be sure to be checking out your Minnesota Wild Charge as they play in the playoffs for the Delta Battle League. And hopefully we take it to the top. So thank you guys so much for joining me today, and we'll see you next time. Stay sharp, everyone. Hello, everyone, and thanks for checking out the video. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to click on the links on the screen. If you haven't yet, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to see more videos as they come to your way. And if you want to go check out the GoFundMe, that'd be great, too. Bye!